It's starting to impact bed capacity and put a strain on staff who have already been stretched thin. WGN's Alyssa Donovan is live tonight with the impact of that surge. Good evening. Yes, hospital leaders here at Loyola University Medical Center say that they have seen an increase in COVID cases since Thanksgiving, but the real increase has been in the past one to two weeks. That's when they've seen those numbers explode and new admissions of COVID-19 patients have increased significantly in the past week here at Loyola. Right now they have 50 patients. 25% of their ICU beds are being used by those with COVID-19. The problem with that high of a number it leaves zero room for error. Those COVID patients are in addition to all of the sick people coming into the emergency room with other illnesses or coming in for surgery. Kevin Smith is the chief medical officer at Loyola. He says it doesn't help that they've seen a large number of people leave the healthcare workforce over the last year. You take that, you compound it with what seems like a large number of patients seeking care again after COVID sort of died down, and then all of a sudden COVID bubbling back up again. You put that into it, um, and it becomes, uh, in many ways, a perfect storm. Um, just thinking about uh, our, our capacity for beds, um, as well as just the strain that we're already putting on very busy workforce uh, as well. As of today, 16,681 new cases of COVID-19 reported in Illinois, 66 deaths and more than 4,000 hospitalizations. And Smith is asking that anyone who can get a booster shot do so, if only to help the strain on these local hospitals. Reporting live in Maywood, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News. Alyssa, 